Hi guys, it's me, and I am back with a tutorial, finally. Um, and yes, my face is looking weird, um, but I've got my foundation, my concealer, my powder, I've got a little bit of bronzer, a little bit of blush, done my eyebrows, I've just put a nude color on my lips, and we are going to do a quick eye, um, and a quick eye look. And the eyeshadow palette that I'm going to use today is from Beauty Control, and it is called After Midnight. Now I know I know a lot of people probably look at this palette and say no I cannot wear those colors that is crazy they are not gonna work for me um, so I wanted to and I had to find um, a look that's wearable and I've actually sold more of this palette in the last probably couple of weeks than I've sold the last year um, so it is completely wearable and it is a really nice palette um, if you just use the colors. I'll say properly, you know, a little more toned down. So the palette is called After Midnight, okay? And these are the shades. And it's that center shade that throw a lot of people off because they see the blue and they think, 80s, I cannot wear that, you know, we can't go there again. Um, but you don't have to do a crazy eye look with this. Um, we're actually going to do a smoky eye, which is similar to some of my other videos. But I just wanted to show that technique using this palette, just to show you that it is a wearable look. And this palette is not just crazy blues. It is actually a really, really pretty uh, palette to use. So let's get started by priming our eyelids. So just prime all over your eyelids with any kind of eyeshadow primer that you have. Um, eyeshadow primer is just going to help keep your shadows on your lid longer. It's going to stop them from creasing, which happens to a lot of people, especially if you find you have oily um, eyelids. It's going to make the colors of your eyeshadows appear more vibrant and also help them to blend. Now my primer that I'm using is pretty much the same color as my, my skin tone. So that's kind of something that you're probably going to want, unless you want something with a bit of shimmer, which can work as well, depending on um, the eyeshadows that you're going to use. Um, so yeah, just work this all the way from your lash line right up to underneath your brow. So the first color we're going to go in with is the white shade here, and we are going to use that to highlight a little bit. So just take any sort of small pencil brush or anything that can get into a tight area and um, apply this white shimmery shade to the inner corner of the eye just to brighten that up. See how bright that looks? So we'll do that to both sides, apply it to the inner corner, and then we're also going to apply a little bit right underneath the brow just to highlight that area there and give your eyes a little bit more lift. Now for this inner part here, we're going to apply a shade um, quite close to your skin tone. It can have shimmer, it doesn't have to, up to you. Mine's going to have a little bit of a shimmer and just apply this to the first half of your lid, even to two-thirds of the lid. And do the same thing on the other eye. So just apply it to the first, we'll say two-thirds of the lid. Perfect. So then with whatever kind of blending brush you have, just kind of blend that highlight into that color we just applied just so you don't have any start and stop lines. We want it to look seamless, so I'm going to blend a little bit that highlight under the brow. Perfect, so then we're going to go in with the navy shade. So this dark navy here, which is gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Um, and it is a matte shade as well. So I'm taking the same brush that I applied the highlight on the inner corner. I'm taking that again, filling it up with some navy, and then we are going to apply this to the outer corner. Now I am patting on the color. Um, this way all the color that's on the brush can make it right on the lid and we have less fallout underneath our eye. So I'm just applying it to the outer corner and I'm going to round this out. You can make a nice cat eye with this if you wanted to um, kind of wing it out this way. 
but I am just going to round it out. Now you can go as high up in your crease as you would like, um, but you don't have to at all. You can keep it right on the lid. So once we get quite a bit of color down, you're going to take your blending brush again and just dab it in the color ever so slightly and we're going to start to blend. So just use swirling motions. You will see some of the color, um, it will lighten a bit, but we can always go back in, you know, with a little bit more of that shadow to get the depth of color we want. So I'll just go in. Blend, blend, blend. Sorry if I'm going off camera. So like I said, this is similar to other looks that I have on here. Um, but I demoed this makeup look for a makeup class I had recently. And everybody absolutely could not get over how much they loved this palette after, after I showed, you know, like a wearable look with it. Um, just to kind of look at the palette initially and you see that bright blue, you just think 80s, can't wear this, no way, let's look at another palette. But when you see a, a way that you can use these shadows and it still be quite a wearable look, I mean not everyone obviously would wear this during the day, I would, but I tend to wear more makeup than most people. Um, but this is definitely a great, glamorous, nighttime look. Stick on some big old eyelashes. Um, absolutely beautiful look. So as you can see, I did go up above my crease a little bit with this color. But you definitely do not have to. So we've got our nice, smoky, navy eye. Now if you feel like this first color kind of was dulled down a little bit, just go back in with your eyeshadow brush um, and, and that same color and just reapply it. Just so you still have that nice bright color in the center. So there we go. So underneath what we're going to do is um, we're going to use that bright 80s blue because it is still a beautiful color and using it sparingly it can be really gorgeous. So I'm just going to take an angled brush here, I'm going to dab it in that color and we are going to apply a little bit of that color underneath right in the center. So right in the center area we're going to add this blue. This looks amazing too on um, like brown eyes. My eyes are blue so sometimes you feel like too much blue, um, but I think it's a fun look um, for blue eyes, but brown eyes will pop with this for sure. So we've added that bright blue in the center, and then I'm just going to pick up a little bit of that navy blue like we used up here, and I'm going to apply that to this outer corner. Now you can make this as smoky as you want. Um, I'm not going to make it crazy smoky. So then you want to apply your eyeliner. So you can do liquid liner, you can do um, pencil liner, gel liner, whatever it is that you want to use. I'm going to use just a pencil liner. Now this is a waterproof liner um, and I'm just going to use it a bit thicker on this outer corner here and then a little bit thinner once we get in the inner part. And you can always take an angled brush and smooth that out. which is what I like to do with uh, pencil liner. I always like to smooth it out. Now I'm going to go ahead, do the other eye to match, and then I'll come right back and uh, we'll finish up the eye look. Okay, so I've got both the eyes done. Now if you want to make this extra smoky, then I would take a waterproof um, black liner and I would line the inside of my eyes. So on your waterline, right down here. And that's just going to make it a little bit smokier. Now the next thing I would do would be to curl my eyelashes um, 
and if you want to apply false eyelashes you can definitely do that I don't think I will today um, if I was heading out somewhere I probably would um, apply my false eyelashes but um, a lot of you at home probably don't do false eyelashes as much so we're just gonna keep this look simple um, <laughs> simple no so I'm just gonna curl my eyelashes here and then I'm gonna apply a few coats of mascara So mascara number one, and I'm just going to get that as close to my the base of my lashes as possible just to thicken those up. So that's mascara number one, and I'm going to use a different mascara um, to give me some length as well. So apply as many coats of mascara as you need to really bulk up those lashes. Um, so I have done some bronzer already. Um, I just used a Sigma F84 brush um, just really to work that bronzer um, underneath my cheekbone and to give myself a little bit more of a contour or like a bronzy glow. Then I would take whatever your favorite blush color is. Um, Something kind of not so super bright will work because our eyes are so dark. So I just sweep that along my cheekbone. I applied two different products to my lips, um, you know, while I was getting ready for this video. And I applied Myth by MAC, and it's a very nude, very beautiful gloss. And then over top of that, I applied um, Sweetheart by NYX. And again, that's just a nude color. So I think the nude tones really go great when you have such a dark, smoky um, eye. Would, the only other thing I would say to do would be maybe add like a highlighter. And I have this little tiny version here of High Beam by Benefit. Um, it's a cream highlighter. So I just am going to take a little bit on my hand like that. Put it on a finger. And we are going to work that on top of our cheekbones. So just pat and then pat that in. And you can see that's already catching light. I like a powder highlighter as well, um, but I left mine at the shop, so I'm just going to use a cream one. Just I use a lot of powder products. I find a powder highlight, you know, like works best for me, but cream products work just as well. And then I usually go a little bit through my temples here just to catch the light. And then down the center of your nose. And then right above the center of your lip. So that is our after midnight look. Um, this would be a great look to wear out or to like an evening for a dinner if you want something smokier. So I hope you enjoy this video. Don't forget to subscribe and um, I'll see you soon. Thanks. Bye-bye.